So I have my July Julep Maven box came in and this is what it looks like. It's actually a really nice little small box this month. Usually they're kind of gigantic so this is a nice little size. And when you open it right away you see a nice little card detailing what's happening. So this month I went back to my American Beauty which was my original kind of quiz. Um, when you take the style quiz this is the one that I ended up with. So this is all about matching lips and nails and so they hopped on the whole nail polish and lip gloss kind of trend that MAC was doing and then I had to laugh because when I was picking out which box I wanted this month I had just finished filming all my Butter London um, lippy lip glosses and nail polish videos too so I was like oh <laughs> another one so I just picked a month. Um, the reason I mostly went with this one is that I love this glitter polish color and then I also wanted a lip gloss and nail polish that wasn't exactly like one that I already had. And some of the other combinations were very similar to like Butter London's Trout Pout and everything. So this one looked the most unique and yet a very wearable color. So it has on here too this little detail where it suggests that you do a little like um, French manicure with the glitter. That's actually really cute. I, that's not a bad idea. So again, this is what the box looks like when you open it up. And it's your time to sparkle. They always kind of include a nice little quote in here, just like a little pick-me-up. Julep in July. And usually it comes really nicely wrapped in a ribbon. And I always keep these ribbons for some other thing project and then it always comes really nicely bubble wrap but I like to take these out and do um, nail swatches beforehand so these are the nail polishes and then do you see all this nice little like red white and blue confetti just really cute for July and actually today is June 30th and I got my box like really nice and early I want to say I got my box like two days ago I just wasn't able to film it yet so it came really nice and early in time to kind of paint your nails for July. It also came with an a bunch of these fireballs, which my brother loves these things. So I'm totally going to hand these off to him. These are like kind of one of those old school classic candies too. Kind of like the same thing with the pixie sticks last month, which I did end up eating by the way. <laughs> um, and then this is the lip gloss too. Okay. So then this what comes in the box and this first nail polish here is America and this is what's on my nails right now so hopefully I uploaded the video in time. So I won't talk too, too much about this nail polish since I did do a video on it separately. I think the big thing is that it's opaque in two coats, it covers the nail, it's a really great glitter nail polish and I thought it was really smart of them that they did an America version and they did a, Cana uh, a Canadian version. So you could have picked between the U.S. version or the Canadian version nail polish. The only thing is that the stars are kind of far and few between, so you could totally go through and like hunt for a star in here. Um, but I am too lazy to do that, so I didn't feel like hunting for a star to put on each nail. But otherwise, it's a great nail polish and it is perfect for 4th of July. The other two colors then that came in here, this one is called Yumi, and Yumi is this awesome holographic nail polish glitter, and it's just this really pretty kind of rose blush champagne color. Okay, and that's how you spell Yumi. And of course I have a nail wheel. So Yumi, this is two coats on the nail wheel, and so that is also opaque or it covers the entire nail all on its own. You don't need any base coat or any other nail polish underneath it. It will cover your nail completely. It is a very rough glitter. It's kind of a chunky, you know, holographic glitter nail polish. So I would maybe recommend doing two coats of top coat um, to kind of help smooth it out. But it's just a really kind of beautiful glitter nail polish. And I really like that it's, you know, it's on that holographic trend, so it has the really sparkly iridescent cast to it. It's kind of on the silver side, but really it's more of this beautiful kind of blush champagne color. So that's Yumi. The other color that came with it then, this one is Lynn. And Lynn is this beautiful kind of blush champagne color pink 
Definitely pink. Has this nice iridescent kind of glitter glow to it. It's really a shimmer. Um, it's not like a glitter glitter. It's just a really pretty kind of pink champagne color. It's not as bright of a color like you would want for kind of summer. At the same time, it's just a really nice kind of color where this is something that will be kind of classic, I think, any time of the year and any year. You know, it's not something that will just be um, kind of a fad. This is a really beautiful color. So this is what it looks like painted on the nail wheel and it does kind of retain that nice iridescent kind of shimmer to it. It is a smooth color so that it's not like it's glitter or anything. But it's just really pretty and it's just this beautiful kind of rosy, dusty, pink blush champagne color. And obviously these two colors together go really nice. I think they're really kind of beautiful, very complementary to each other. So again, this is the color Lin, and this is the color Yumi, so you can kind of see what they look like on the nail. Okay, then of course the actual lip gloss that came with it this month, so this is their Lip Vernie, or Vernice, <laughs> these are the ingredients, does not contain, does not contain parabens or sulfates. Okay, da, 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 da. so an ultra creamy long wearing gloss with a mirror like finish, shine on. And this glo lip gloss is really beautiful and again like I said it is not like Trout Pout and it is not like Teddy Girl, it's not like any of the um, Butter London lippy lip glosses so that's kind of the reason I chose it. And this one is called Peony. And I guess that's a great way to kind of describe it. It's this really nice kind of soft mauve pink color. And it is kind of on this creamy side. This is what the applicator looks like. It's just this kind of um, brush applicator, lip brush. And this is what it looks like. Okay. And so it is a little bit on the kind of milky pink side. I'm going to do one more swatch next to it so you can kind of see. Obviously when you blot your lips together and everything it will sheer out just a little bit. But it looks really pretty. It's just a really nice kind of soft pink color. And it does kind of have this creaminess to it. It does have a little bit of a, a smell to it but it's a kind of a, I'm trying to think of what the smell is. It kind of reminds me of sweet tarts, but it's not as like sour sweet. It's more of a softer kind of sweetness. So it does have a smell to it. It doesn't have a taste though. And it is a little bit on the tacky side, but not nearly as tacky as like the Butter London lip lacquers. It's more like just a gloss. So it just has a very slight tackiness to it, but it's got a really nice slip to it at the same time. Okay. And I think that this color is pretty close to the actual nail polish. I wish a little bit that because this nail polish has this beautiful kind of blush rosiness to it, that shimmer, that they would have put a little bit of that into the lip gloss because the lip gloss is a matte. It is like this matte cream color. Now for me, I have pretty dark, naturally dark colored lips. So this is a little bit um, milky for me. It's a little bit too milky pink. So what I have to do is basically you would just um, use like some kind of cover up or concealer to kind of make your lips a little bit more mm, nude color and then put this on top and it looks really pretty. Or you can take one of your Revlon lip butters and I love this one. This is Creamsicle. This is like a great lip stick, lip butter, lip tint, whatever you want to call it, just to have. Because it's a great color where if you have kind of slightly darker, naturally darker lips, this is really nice to use because it does kind of just give you that um, nude kind of effect. So if you can kind of see here, it's this very kind of sheer creamy creamsicle color. But what this does for me is that this helps give my lips kind of that more nude canvas. And so I like to put this on and then I put this over top and it looks really nice. Otherwise if I just use the lip gloss on its own, like it just doesn't look right on me. It looks a little bit goofy. I did want to say too that I did have one slight dupe of the 
Lynn color. So this is the Julep Maven Lynn color and it has this really nice kind of golder sheerness to it. And this is actually a mini Essie and this is from the resort collection I think 2011. And this one is called Lion Around. And so this one is kind of very similar but it pulls much more of a cool tone kind of silver metallic color so that the colors aren't actually the same but they are kind of close so I just noticed that in my collection. So this one is Lynn by Julep Maven and it's got a much more rosy kind of peachy sheen to it where this one is lying around by Essie and it's much more cool tone kind of silver sheen to it. But that's the only dupe that I have. I have nothing that matches this holographic Yumi color. And that's the only really close color that I have. But again, another really nice set from Julep Maven. I think the months have just been getting like better and better. They've been doing a really nice job. Um, this America Glitter Polish went on really nice and well. The Yumi color I think will be beautiful too. And this is just a really nice kind of classic rose pink soft blush champagne color which is actually opaque it's not sheer too so that's really nice and then this little lip gloss is just a really great addition to your kind of collection I think it's a very kind of flattering color for all ages too so now thank you so much for supporting my channel Dee Dee's Finds and I do put the referral link in the bottom for my julep boxes um, mostly because I feel like Julep is a little bit of a younger kind of monthly subscription. I don't do my Jewel Mint referral links because I feel like everybody does Jewel Mint so I don't even bother. But I did earn a free month through um, the referral link so thank you so much. So I do then have a hidden giveaway and I added two of these nail polishes on my kind of monthly subscription so I bought two more of these to give away and again this is the color America which is on my nails right now so the rules to the giveaway are very simple please be a subscriber which you probably are if you're watching this video or if you're not please feel free to subscribe to my channel I really appreciate it it's a product only channel and there's been some really great kind of supporters that really helped me develop what you guys are looking for and what kind of you know comments you want in the reviews and then two you just have to leave a comment below telling me what nail polish this is you don't have to say anything about it being a giveaway you don't have to say anything about why you deserve it or anything like that just leave me America in the comment section and then I'll know to enter you into the giveaway you only have to enter once because you'll only be put in once there will be two winners because I did purchase two of these it is going to be restricted to America and Canada only um, so I hope you don't mind receiving this if you're Canadian and you happen to win but um, it's just a little bit harder for me to do the international shipping thing so I'm gonna just keep it to the US and Canada for this giveaway and then the giveaway will end on July 31st at midnight Eastern Standard Time I was hoping to get these sooner but this is the one that came in my box so my two other add-ons haven't even come in yet so there's just no way that I'll be able to film, edit, upload this video in time and then pick a winner to get it to you by July 4th so I'm really uh, sorry about that I wish that I could but I think it's a great glitter nail polish and you can always wear it for Labor Day which is around September 7th usually um, and then you can always keep it for Memorial Day and you can keep it for 4th of July next year so I'm really sorry you can't have it in time for 4th of July 2012 but I really hope you enjoy it for next year and I'm so thankful for you guys for supporting the channel and listening to my ramblings and everything like that so this is a little hidden giveaway there will be two winners it will close July 31st at 12 midnight Eastern Standard Time and please just enter once by writing in the comments America thank you so much guys I really hope that you enjoy these videos and thanks for watching